Hi, in this video we're going to find the first order partial derivatives of this function. So we have h of r comma theta equals r times cosine of theta. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So we'll start by finding the partial derivative of h, so del h, with respect to r, so del r. When you're computing the partial derivative of h with respect to r, you have to treat all of the other variables as constants. So in this case, theta is being treated as a constant. So the cosine of theta is actually constant. So it kind of just hangs out, it's like a number. So we simply differentiate the r. The derivative of r is one times, and we still have this constant cosine of theta. And so this is equal to one times cosine theta, so we simply get cosine theta. Again, when you're finding the partial with respect to r, you have to treat all of the other variables as constants. Now let's try to find the partial derivative with respect to theta. So del h, del theta. When we're computing the partial with respect to theta, again, we have to treat all of the other variables as constants. So in this case, we're going to treat the r as a constant. So it simply hangs out and then the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so parentheses, negative sine of theta. The last thing to do maybe here is just distribute uh, the r, just multiply it by this and put the negative in the front. Just a little bit of rearranging. Let's write it like this, negative r sine theta. Rather, rearranging is what we needed to do. And that's it, I hope this has been helpful, good luck.